I've been drawing for as long as I can remember. After high school, I went to Nascad University where I studied filmmaking and drawing. While I was there, I experimented with a variety of different materials and mediums and fell in love with mixed media drawing. It wasn't until after university that I was diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and ADHD. I think that my ADHD is directly linked to my creativity. I constantly feel the need to multitask, and by drawing, my hyperactive brain is given something else to do. As a result, I can focus more on what is being said in, say, a meeting or a lecture. In high school, when I was told to put the drawing away and pay attention, my coping strategies were essentially taken away from me, and as a result, I found it much more difficult to focus. ADHD does make things like time management and follow through more difficult, but I honestly think that it allows me to think more creatively. I jump from thought to thought all the time, but it's this way of thinking that allows me to come up with creative solutions to a problem and take risks with my artistic practice. Drawing is also therapeutic when it comes to my depression and anxiety. When I am depressed or in an anxious state, I experience a lot of helplessness and negative self-talk. Drawing allows me to stop this negative thinking pattern and allows me to focus on creating something from nothing. I think the value in art therapy is that it's accessible to everyone. Medication and clinical therapy can be incredibly expensive and can come with long wait times. Art is underappreciated as a valid form of therapy, and I hope this video helps to demonstrate how effective it can be when treating mental illness. Writing poetry and filmmaking makes me feel great, plus they're fun to do. I think they definitely help my mental health. They give me things to do and a goal to accomplish. I really get into the zone and focus on what I'm doing. I find especially with poetry that it can help relieve my anxiety because I'm focused on the poetry and not what's causing the anxiety. With the filmmaking I honestly struggled at first and it actually made me anxious. However, I didn't give up and kept going and I eventually found it fun and rewarding. Something I've also noticed was that when I'm psychotic and or manic, the poems I write are better than normal despite the struggles those mental states bring. It was though these mental states boost my creativity. Others I know that have mental illness have, have also told me that while being ill that their creativity blossoms. In fact, a lot of the creative people I know have mental illness. It seems to me like there's some kind of connection between mental illness and creativity. You may quell my anxiety, but sedate me so heavily. Arguably, you are a chemical lobotomy, at the same time a stabilizer of mood. You make sleep easily attainable, however you make peace of mind not. A sense of well-being seems so far, it feels like I'll never reach it. It's so hard to quit on you, although heavy stigma surrounds me. People will judge no matter what but the judgment is so everlasting. Cooking is something that I've become extremely passionate about ever since I first moved out of my family home. In my opinion, cooking is not only fun, but there's something really calming about it as well. After a hard day at work or school, nothing is more relaxing to me than cooking up something delicious with some music on in the background. Living with panic disorder, it's important that I engage myself in activities that make me feel comfortable and at ease. When my mind is racing, it's helpful for me to transfer my rapid thoughts into my cooking. For instance, rather than overly focusing on an exam coming up, I'm able to change the focus into something that I enjoy. My anxiety allows me to be more precise about things such as flavor combinations and the timing of multiple dishes. When living with an anxiety disorder, I think creativity and finding your passion can be very beneficial. I love knowing that I have an outlet for my stress and anxiety that my day may or may not bring. Overall, I'm able to say that cooking has helped me cope with my mental illness in a healthy and fun way. Mental illness made me feel a lot of things. It made me feel like I was alone, it made me feel scared, and it made me feel like I didn't matter. When I sit down and get ready to write, there's a lot that goes on in my mind, but I feel a lot more like myself. Art is my biggest escape. In some ways, mental illness helps me when it comes to art. My mind is constantly going and it helps me produce new ideas. Most importantly, when I do art, it feels like I matter. When I write or draw my comics, I finally have my own voice. People hear me and listen to what I have to say. I don't let my mental illness control me, I can control it. My name is Karen McNabb, and I'm 24 years old, and I love to paint and draw as therapy. 
I was put into foster care when I was about five years old and then adopted when I was nine. As a child, I really enjoyed drawing and painting up until I was adopted. Adoption is a different story for me than what you would think or hope. Being creative wasn't something I was particularly allowed to be. It was mostly reserved for the adoptive mother. As I grew older, I lost the will and the want to paint and draw. Nothing seemed like it would make me happy, and my regular activities that usually brought me joy were not anymore. Nothing seemed to help, and as I turned 20, I thought that my life had finally come to a close. I was very physically sick and mentally not there anymore. I felt like I couldn't feel my emotions either. I go to a place called Langhouse, and it has an art room where I can choose from a variety of different arts and crafts. I just decided one day that I would paint just to try and feel again. It felt very foreign at first, but I was generally happy by the end of it. I'm excited to create new things and to paint colors on paper, feelings I wasn't allowed to express before. It feels incredibly healing, and I feel like I gained a piece of myself back again. I think the connection is that with artwork, Creating something comes from a need to express how you feel, how you think. But not only that, it's like, it's your whole body goes into a work of art. Whether you're creating lyrics or playing an instrument. So in the book I was reading, there's a girl character. And she was talking about her mom, and her mom's an amazing painter but she has mental illness. And it wasn't outright said, but it, what was said is that she goes through phases in her life where everything's a mess. And she wondered if that was the link. In order to be creative, you had to be messed up and lost in a way. Um, not that having mental illness makes you messed up, but it kind of does. Um, and I believe that for myself dealing with depression and anxiety and trying to see where I fit in the in the world growing up. I got lost in reading, I got lost in writing short stories, little poems, just random things that popped in my head. I have really vivid, vivid dreams that are almost artistic in a way. I think that if there's this huge pandemic of People who have mental illness and who are really lost right now but if we can find a way to bring everyone together and give them a way to express themselves then they wouldn't feel so lost mental illness is a lack of connection art can sometimes be painful for the viewer and also for the creator and I think within that pain, there's so much beauty, and that's why there's art galleries. <laughs> that's why people read books, because inside someone's mind, where there's so many things going on, and there's still beauty and wonder, and people want to know that, people want to feel that as well. It's so powerful that other people who don't know you and don't know what's inside you or your story but they can look at your artwork and be like wow i connect to that very much an awareness especially for me i know i have mental illness and i know that i'm creative and i know that without mental illness i don't think i would be creative